SPDIF Sony Philips Digital Interface is a type of digital audio interconnect used in consumer audio equipment to output audio over reasonably short distances. The signal is transmitted over either a coaxial cable with RCA connectors or a fiber optic cable with TOSLINK connectors. SPDIF interconnects components in home theaters and other digital high fidelity systems. SPDIF is based on the AES-3 interconnect standard. SPDIF can carry two channels of uncompressed PCM audio or compressed 5.1, 7.1 surround sound such as DTS audio codec. It cannot support lossless surround formats that require greater bandwidth. SPDIF is a data link layer protocol as well as a set of physical layer specifications for carrying digital audio signals between devices and components over either optical or electrical cable. The name stands for Sony – Philips Digital Interconnect Format but is also known as Sony – Philips Digital Interface. Sony and Philips were the primary designers of SPDIF. SPDIF is standardized in IEC 60958 as IEC 60958 Type II IEC 958 before 1998. Topic. Applications. A common use for the SPDIF interface is to carry compressed digital audio for surround sound as defined by the standard IEC 61937. This mode is used to connect the output of a DVD player or computer, via optical or coax, to a home theater amplifying receiver that supports Dolby Digital or DTS. Another common use is to carry two channels of uncompressed digital audio from a CD player to an amplifying receiver. Topic. Hardware specifications SPDIF was developed at the same time as the main standard, AES-3, used to interconnect professional audio equipment in the professional audio field. This resulted from the desire of the various standards committees to have at least sufficient similarities between the two interfaces to allow the use of the same, or very similar, designs for interfacing ICs. SPDIF remained nearly identical at the protocol level, but changed the physical connectors from XLR to either electrical coaxial cable with RCA connectors or optical fiber TOSLINK, i.e., FO5 or EIAJ optical, both of which cost less than the XLR connection. The RCA connectors are typically color-coded orange to differentiate from other RCA connector uses such as composite video. The cable was also changed from 110 ohms balanced twisted pair to 75 ohms coaxial cable, using RCA jacks. Signals transmitted over consumer-grade TOSLINK connections are identical in content to those transmitted over coaxial connectors, though TOSLINKS PDIF commonly exhibits higher jitter. Topic. Protocol specifications. SPDIF is used to transmit digital signals of a number of formats, the most common being the 48 kHz sample rate format used in DAT and the 44.1 kHz format, used in CD audio. In order to support both systems, as well as others that might be needed, the format has no defined data rate. Instead, the data is sent using biphase mark code, which has either one or two transitions for every bit, allowing the original word clock to be extracted from the signal itself. SPDIF is meant to be used for transmitting 20-bit audio data streams plus other related information. To transmit sources with less than 20 bits of sample accuracy, the superfluous bits will be set to zero. SPDIF can also transport 24-bit samples by way of four extra bits, however, not all equipment supports this, and these extra bits may be ignored. With one exception, SPDIF protocol is identical to AES-3. The channel status bit differs in SPDIF. There is one channel status bit in each subframe, making 384 bits in each audio block. The meaning of the channel status bits is completely different between AES-3 and SPDIF. For SPDIF, the 192-bit block for each channel is divided into 12 words of 16 bits each. The first six bits of the first word are a control code. The meaning of its bits are shown in the accompanying table. 
Bits 8 to 14 of the control code are a 7 bit category code indicating the type of source equipment, and bit 15 is the L bit, which for most category codes indicates whether copy restricted audio is original, may be copied once, or a copy does not allow recording again. The L bit is only used if bit 2 is 0, meaning copy restricted audio. The L bit polarity depends on the category, with recording allowed if it is 1 for DVDR and DVRRW, but 0 for CDR, CDRW, and DVD. For plain CDDA ordinary non-recordable CDs, the L bit is not defined, and recording is prevented by alternating bit 2 at a rate of 4 to 10 Hz. Topic: <laughs> Limitations. The receiver does not control the data rate, so it must avoid bit slip by synchronizing its reception with the source clock. Many SPDIF implementations cannot fully decouple the final signal from influence of the source or the interconnect. Specifically the process of clock recovery used to synchronize reception may produce jitter. If the DAC does not have a stable clock reference then noise will be introduced into the resulting analog signal. However, receivers can implement various strategies that limit this influence. TOSLINK optical fiber, unlike coaxial cables, are immune to ground loops and RF interference. The fiber core of TOSLINK, however, may suffer permanent damage if tightly bent. Topic: See also. ADAT light pipe. Dolby Digital Plus. I squared S McCasp Manchester code Topic Notes Topic References Topic External Links SPDIF at ePanorama Net More about channel data bits Interfacing AES-3 and SPDIF